How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Atlantia. I'm back here at the map district, as you guys can see. And we are just finishing up this big platform that I have been doing in between episodes. I basically just put a rim around the outside of where I needed it. And then I just started placing down some lava. And the lava is making us some um, stone over the water. And as soon as this is done, I will be going through and putting in some glowstone so that it's all nice and lit up. And then we have a nice map area that I will hand off to Knight's Path so he can uh, make us a little campaign poster. So I'll be right back once this is all done. All right, guys, and there we go. The uh, map platform is finished, all nice and lit up. I don't think there's any actual spawning spaces left on this, so it's super safe to work on. So I'll let Knight know that that is ready, and then he can start on the actual artwork for it. And speaking of letting Knight know, he let me know that I have mail. So let's see what I have. Get pinged, Lamau. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, invoice. There we go. That's probably what he was talking about. Invoice. Pillager captain. That's probably for Kirk, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's the only pillager captain I have, so I'm guessing it's for him. Yeah. So 35 diamonds for that. Re-education services. 10 diamonds. So total is 45. Uh, please leave own total of five blocks in the mail. All right. Well, let's drop that off for him then. But let's see. Five diamond blocks. I'm glad he did the math for me because I suck at the on-camera math. We all know that. And put that away. And let's see. Where is... I forget where his mailbox is. Oh, here it is. So five for him. And I'll let him know that that's there. And that's done. Nice. Oh, hey, Buster. Forgot to, I nearly forgot to say hello to you. Hmm. Anywho. All right, guys. So we're over here at the town hall. We got Knight's Path with us. And just by the way, this chuck head that I'm standing on, I, I didn't do it. I didn't. <laughs> it wasn't me, but it looks really cool. Hey, Path. What's up? Well, you know, not much. Just uh, seconding uh, a, a few people. Yeah. So the board is up and all the nominees are in. We got, let's see, Master of Trades, Seiya's running, Harbor Master's Tinkerbell, Treasurer's is Lux and Cal, Master Ceremonies, Kodia, Judges is Tavo and Thora. And as it stands, all of them would be unopposed, which is kind of a good thing. You know, it's not too many races happening all at once. I think all those positions being filled straight away is going to actually be very good for the server. But then we have the two governor positions, and there is only one governor position, right? So it's me and Chuck. <laughs> it's me and Chuck, and you, and Euphorus. Euphorus is yep. Chuck's running partner, and we are here to do some seconding. So I got my two books here. I'm going to be seconding Lux for Treasurer and Tavo for Judge. What are you doing? Well, I seconding you for governor because uh, again, Gracias. you know, kind of a little, a little self-serving being vice, you know, vice yeah, path. Well, kind of, kind of the <laughs> yeah. idea, right? And uh, also Tink because you know, well, you know, as you know, it's my wife. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's get these books in here. So Tavo in there, and Lux in there. So I'm done. Nice. Uh, I kind of uh, did it before you got here, so... Uh... Oh, okay. I was going to just ceremoniously watch you put the book in for me, but... okay. Uh, here you go. Here you go. You can... Here, here. Cer what? Ceremoniously. Open barrel. Oh, wow. Wait a, wait a sec. Close barrel. Wow. Wow, amazing. For all, for all, all right. you know, I put the book in. <laughs> Yeah, you probably did. <laughs> you probably lied in the first place. All right, so um, one more thing, by the way, the uh, map art area is done. I actually did that just before I came over here to, to see you. Uh, so you can oh, go nice. over there and, and get started on that. And then, you know, Getting make things us something. Done, yeah. yeah, get us something done. I don't know. You Do you think you'll be able to get it done by the end of this episode? Or are we going to keep that for next episode? 
Uh, not making any promises, but I am definitely going to do my best. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. He's going to do his best. And that's all we can ask for. Okay. Bye. Bye. Off into the uh, starry night you go. Yeah, I'm actually just flying into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I need to come back. <laughs> All right, well, it seems like I've been pranked yet again. What a bunch of pranks is on the server, I tell you. So I think you shall be my new friend. And I shall call you Seamus. <laughs> okay. Seamus, this is your new home. You maintain the, the boardroom, I guess. All right, so the other day on a live stream, Knight and I were handing out some goodie boxes to our constituents and just showing them that we understand their needs, making sure that each one's kind of tailor-made to their own needs and what, they, what they're currently in, in short supply of or whatever. And we also added a little bit of campaign literature into each box. I'll let you guys pause and read that if you want to. I do not like reading on camera. I suck at it. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of literature. And we still have a few boxes, these ones here, that we need to go and deliver. So I'm going to head out and I'm going to go and drop these off at everyone's bases quickly. Delulu, Lomper, and GC. Ruffle, DC. Tinkerbell seems AFK. We'll just leave this here. All right, that is all of the boxes. Okay, well, that was a successful trip to uh, the basis of the people that we still needed to give uh, gift boxes to. And in doing so, I realized that I now have absolutely no Shulker boxes left. So I came over here to see maybe we've made some more sales. Yes, yes, we have. Let's just see. Oh man, that's good. I am going to reinvest most of these into boxes yet again, refill them, put them back in there, and then hopefully I'll have a few shulker boxes left for myself to use after this. Well, I think that ought to do it. And it's raining again. And I've also filled up this thing. So now we have a few more things. I think this might be the last time that I actually refill this. Uh, it was meant to be temporary anyway, so I think once all of this is sold out, I'll buy myself a whole bunch of shulker boxes and then call that a day. And then I've also seen over here that uh, Chucky Boy and his running partner, Euphorus, have started on their headquarters. And it's looking awesome, really. Um, I mentioned in a live stream that I wanted to do a modern build. I'm not sure if that's why they went for modern house but i mean they're doing a good job and to be fair i think i might want to do something else but first of all i think it is time because let's face it uh, the cyberpunk suit's cool and all but i think it's time for a change i'll be right back all right back in my old suit and looking spiffy I think we are ready for business. I mean, it even cleared up the rain. That's how cool the suit is. <laughs> Which means now we're going to have to come up with a really cool design for this area around here for our own headquarters. And I don't think I'm going to get around to that in this episode because we still got a lot of things to do. But next episode, we're going to be building this thing and it's going to look awesome. All right, now that that job is done, what is next for us today? Uh, hello? Night? Yeah, what? Well, you need... You need... Fif Wait, 15 stacks of clay. Are you kidding me? Um... Yeah, I, I guess I can get that for you. Um... Just give me a minute. I hate collecting clay. It is an underrated block, though. And I did find this. So we might actually do something with this uh, in the future. Mm, wouldn't mind a witch farm. And I got more than I needed for night. So I'm going to go drop 15 stacks of this in his mail. And then, yeah, I think he's using it for the map. So 
So I guess he'll carry on doing that then. All right, well, I'm busy collecting all the resources that we're going to need for today's build, but there's a few things that I am in very short supply of. One of those things is shroom lights. But Seiya said that I can just pop on over to her base and take some and pay, leave her some payment there. So let's go do that. All right, let's see where in her storage room these shroom lights are. <laughs> you can see she's using a lot of them. Uh, she said it's in the silos at the back. Ooh, it's dark in here. Uh, okay, so here we go. Oh, yeah, no, she's got plenty. Plenty, plenty. Give me, give me uh, my diamonds. Let's see. Um, I am going to maybe buy like three diamond blocks worth. How much do you think that's going to get me? I'd say three... Oh, on screen math with purple again. Let's see. Let's break this down. And let's say three diamonds a stack. Should about cut it, I think. So let's take all of these. And then we'll put all of these together. Uh, probably shouldn't leave it in there. <laughs> okay, so let's go find a, a spot to put this. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave it here for somewhere. And there we go. Nine stacks. I hope this covers it. Okay. <laughs> Bye. All right. And another thing that I'm in a little bit of short supply of is that stuff. Blackstone. But I recently purchased this little box here. So I figured let's kill two birds with one stone and do a little bit of TNT mining and get ourselves some blackstone. Bruh, I think you might be lost. Uh oh. Yeah. I saved you. Now, can you just please go back to the portal? It'd be nice to have you back in the city. Yeah? All right. All right, that was a quick little mining session and I barely even scratched the surface of the TNT, but I got enough blackstone for the build and I even got 28 ancient debris. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest of these materials ready and then we're going to go and build the thing. All right, guys, I got all the materials ready, but before we get around to transforming this portal into something a little bit more befitting its overworld counterpart, I need to move these guys out of the way. George, Jeffrey, uh, I think I'm going to put you guys over there at the uh, Hoglin farm for now. And then we'll get back and we'll build this thing. You know what? I don't trust those dang Hoglins. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys here. Yeah? Be safe. I'll be right back. Let's get to building this portal.
why did I do this to myself again? As if one stop gate wasn't enough, seriously. But uh, yeah, I am pretty happy with the way this came out. Um, started on the uh, the Nether Tunnel too, and while I was busy, Saya came around and she just absolutely loved the tunnel, and she decided that she was gonna just carry on. I think this goes. Yeah, she started laying it all out almost all the way to her base, I think. Oh, it's actually getting fuller this side again. Yeah, so she's doing her part of extending it this way. I'll probably get in touch with Koadia and Lux for extending it towards their bases over yonder. And yeah, let's just go through all the functions. So one, the roof actually... Um, works as a road because Koadia likes to ride his horse in the nether. So I figured there should be some kind of road. It's also large enough to fly through, as you can see. Not too big. I think uh, it's just the right size. Then we got rails on this side on soul sand for those that have soul speed. So this is going to make transporting mobs through the nether a lot easier for us. Um, these dispensers also have minecarts in them, so that's easy to get a minecart out if you need it. These ones have boats in them, because obviously, oops, <laughs> got another one there, All right? Because, woo, woo, drifting, no. So, yeah, got the boats, we got an ice path for, uh, running really fast, as you do, All right? So that works. Then uh, Luxurious really wanted a little lava lane for riding striders. I am going to fill this with some splash potions of fire resistance as soon as I... I'll show you guys that in a second where we're going to be getting the fire resist. And then just some, you know, a little workstation because every, every place needs that. I'll probably end up putting some saddles or at least some uh, fungus on a stick in these barrels so that that's ready for these guys. And there's places to tie them up and probably some leads as well. Uh, and then the rest of the details, I mean, I pretty much like these recesses a lot. As soon as the vines are grown fully, I think that's going to look pretty cool. Only problem is that the blocks underneath the vines are spawnable, uh, like level 11. And I forgot that vines don't actually stop spawning. So mobs are still spawning in the vines. On this side, it's fine because they can't actually... Um, pathfind across the rails on this side they can't get past the lava without dying except for pigmen uh, zombified pigmen and uh, i mean they're not really a problem so i need to figure out what i'm going to do to just alleviate that problem a little but anyway let's move on so we got the portal area um i'll show you guys the portal in a second we have this remember the uh, little shrine to chuck uh being a naughty boy uh we moved that we put in a little armor stand. Still deciding what I want to do on this side. Might end up doing something with my own little statue. Um, I don't know. We'll see how the story progresses here on Atlantia. Then if we come in here, I've managed to capture four piglins, which were pretty easy to do. Actually, fill that in. And uh, I've named them all Bebop. Hey, Bebop. <laughs> So for those of you guys that uh, are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans, you'll know where that's from. And then we got the storage in here for the gold farm. Same as what we have in the overworld where the piglins uh, pathfind towards uh, the zombified piglins, I should say. Pathfind towards uh, a turtle egg. Words, please help. Okay. And then they fall on with the roses and they die. This one's going to be a lot slower than the one in the overworld because I'm going to be here a lot less. But any of the gold from either of these farms, I can then bring over, pop into these little droppers here. And if we just do that, should kick the system into gear. I just realized that the trap doors, uh, that's not going to work. Hmm. I'll have to fix that. I'll probably just end up putting... Um, like a glass block there and pushing it in with a piston. I really didn't want to have to do that because I already built all of this. I'll just put the glass block over here, push the pistons. Yeah, it should work fine. Let's actually, let's let's do one quickly. 
Uh, just to see how hard this is gonna actually be. Let's see, redstone box. Uh, it's not gonna be that hard, is it? No, no, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be just fine. Let's get a piston. And let's just get... Do I have any buttons on me? Ah, okay, well, we'll just use a redstone uh, block. And we'll... Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Just do this. Boom. Right, now he's got a glass block over his head. You can't place them in because they're standing on carpets. So, uh, here, I'll show you guys. Yeah, you can't. I'm clicking. But you can't put them in there. Uh, okay, so that glass block is in. And now this system should work just fine. So he'll take that one. And he'll trade. Oh, come on. Don't don't stand up there, Derpole. Right. And then, yeah. It'll drop on a pressure pressure plate, and every time he picks up the next one, it'll trigger the, the, the dropper and shoot out another one. And then all of the drops will go into these chests. And see, we're already getting some goodies, actually. Where's that gold that I accidentally put in there? Let's pop that back in there. Let him trade on, trade on. And then let's do another one, just so I can get this one running as well. And then I'll show you guys the rest of it. So, boop, that's done. That's pretty easy. I'll do the rest off camera in a second. Let me just go and show you guys. Uh, go. Okay. Show you guys the rest of this. So, I got some nice staircases going up here. We got some nice light sources there. And another staircase going up here, just in case I want to use the road. Or if I feel like just flying through the nether and not actually using the boat path. Which, by the way, is going to be a lifesaver on rockets and a lot faster, too, actually. So, I mean, a lot of people would say, but it doesn't make any sense to have a tunnel when you can just be flying. It's 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 the nether ceiling, you know? There's nothing dangerous here. But the both path is really going to save on rockets and time. So, but if I do want to land, I can land up here and I can just walk down straight into my portal. No problem. And, yeah. I mean, the, the portal design itself, the reason why I've been holding off showing that is it's it's the same one. It's exactly the same one as the overworld. I just changed out, let's see, I changed out the gray concrete for a variation of blackstone. I changed out all the white blocks for the magenta-ish colored crimson and some, I think that's purple terracotta. Yeah, so... Just changed up the palette a little bit. Everything else around here is spawn proof except for those parts in the tunnel. Um, and up here, I've placed down some buttons on the ones that aren't slabs and whatnot. And inside, I've also had to spawn proof a little bit by placing down some buttons so nothing spawns on the insides of the portal. But yeah, that, that's about it. I didn't think I was gonna have time to finish the whole thing and get the piglins in in time, but it seems like that's working just fine. And it looks like the gold is shooting off the edges. So I guess I'm going to have to do that too. Uh, because otherwise this is just not going to work. All right. Well, I didn't want to have to, but yeah, now, now it is. Actually, I should probably... This should be where the trap door goes. I will figure this out later. Anyway, guys... I think that's going to have to do it for me for this episode. It's been uh, quite a productive one yet again. Next episode, we're going to probably do the HQ for the governor race for the campaign. And Knight's Path is going to have the map ready, the campaign poster. So that's going to be awesome to see. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash like for double Stargate awesomeness. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day and see ya.